After my cardiac or heart event that occurred during a liveaboard dive trip in the Socorro Islands, the Divers Alert Network physicians who were contacted recommended that I be evacuated from the ship and taken back to the mainland for evaluation. That included me being transported onto the island of Socorro where there's a Mexican naval base, an ambulance trip to the airstrip, and we were met by a medical team there I flew at a thousand feet for two hours back to Cabo San Jose to the safety of the hospital. That emergency flight cost $130,000 and I've yet to even see the rest of my medical bills. So today we're going to talk about dive accident insurance. Welcome to Everything Scuba. Hey guys, welcome to Everything Scuba. I am Lyle. Uh, didn't mean to scare you guys with that intro, but Dive accident insurance is something that if you are a regular diver, you travel to dive, you're on liveaboards, it's probably something worth thinking about. There is no way that I ever thought that I was going to be in the situation that I got myself into on that liveaboard trip for my 50th birthday in the Socorro Islands. Yes, a $130,000 flight to get me back to the hospital and it cost me $30,000 just to leave the hospital after three days. That was not the entirety of my bill though. I've yet to see all of the medical bills. Thankfully, I am a member of Dan and I, yes, I purchased their dive insurance. I use it on an annual basis. It is a great product and I am beyond thankful that I took advantage of that. Just a quick disclaimer, Dan in no way is a sponsor of our show. They're not paying for any of this. I've used them for many years and I feel like it's an institution, an organization that does all the right things for divers for all the right reasons. And so we wanna introduce you to it. So this is part of our continuing series where we're talking to members of Dan. Today we're gonna to talk to Natalie Judkins. Natalie is the Director of Member Services for Divers Alert Network. And today she's gonna to tell us all about dive accident insurance and why we as divers should take a long, hard look at owning that product. So Natalie, thank you for joining us on Everything Scuba, and we're gonna jump right into the questions. Isn't private medical insurance adequate enough to cover accidents and medical problems while diving? That's a good question. We normally recommend our divers to check with the health insurance provider to find out what kind of coverage there is. Most of the time, scuba diving is considered a hazardous sport, which means that there would be no coverage or very limited coverage. So if a diver were to purchase dive insurance, what would that give them above and beyond what their medical insurance would cover? The Dan Dive Accident Coverage will cover you for diving accidents, for the medical bills, um, such as the hyperbaric chamber, in addition to that, you will have coverage for um, lost diving equipment coverage, and that is in case of a diving accident. And you will also have coverage for search and rescue if you choose the Guardian plan. We have viewers from all over the world. Is this covered everywhere? So as a member with Dan USA and Canada, you will have coverage in all countries that have diplomatic relationship with the U.S. If you reside outside the U.S. and Canada, my recommendation is to go to the website at dan.org and look at the region uh, where you reside and see what kind of coverage they will offer. Each region have uh, different coverage. And are there different levels of coverage that you can purchase? Yes. Um, each coverage varies state by state, so you would need to go to the website at dan.org and select the state you live in, and once you've done that, you will have a chart with the coverage available to your state. How would a diver go about filing a claim if he had an accident? In the event that you have a diving accident and you want to file a claim and you have already contacted our medical department, uh, you can give us a call directly at member services. You can reach us by dialing 919-684-2948 or sending us an email at member at dan.org and we will get you to the corresponding department. Where can divers learn more about Dan's accident insurance? 
You can get more information about our dive accident insurance by going to our website at dn.org and under membership and insurance, select dive accident insurance, then select the red box that state compare coverage, and then select the country and state province where you live to view the plan. I personally carry the Guardian dive accident insurance plan that Dan offers, but I'm gonna drop links down below so you can go check out the dive accident insurance portion of Dan's website, go to dan.org, and you'll find all the links associated with those particular products down below in the description. Guys, if you're finding these Dan's episodes helpful to you, check that like button, help share it with other scuba divers. So even though I had very large medical bills from this whole affair, the other part of this that was expensive was the fact that I lost out on the cost of almost my entire trip because this happened on the very first dive of the very first day. It also cost me money to rearrange my flights. I actually had to fly home on a different carrier, so I had the expense of tickets, and all of my gear was left on the ship. And I had to pay nearly $2,000 to get all of my dive gear and my camera gear safely back home. So the other piece of this puzzle that we need to think about is travel insurance. And Dan offers a pretty unique insurance product for scuba divers when it comes to travel insurance. So next episode, click the link down below me and go check that out.